Okay, so here's a video about lamb's quarter. I'm going to break one of these off here just so we can have something to show and tell. That's what it looks like. And these plants, I'm going to let these few here get quite big. I'm going to let them go to full term. I'm going to show you how large these plants can actually get. But what I want to show you is the leaf shape and what to look for to identify lamb's quarter. Now, this is an edible plant. You can eat it, and I will taste test a piece of this for you. It's not the tastiest thing in the world, and I do believe it might have some slight toxic uh, compounds in it, but not necessarily poisonous, but you don't want to overeat it either. So let's show you what the leaf looks like. All right. This is generally what the leaf looks like. And if you look at the top of the plant, here's a nice naturally growing one. All right, there's a, that's what it kind of looks like at the top. All right, and you'll see on the bottom of the leaf, it's usually like a much whiter in color. So that's a good way to tell it you have lamb's quarter. And I can't show it to you in the seeding stage because we're not quite that far into the season yet. But this plant, uh, can be used edibly in the event you need to eat and there's nothing else around. You just don't want to fill your belly just on lamb's quarter. You need to eat several different other plants along with it to give you the nutrition and that you're going to need in the event that you have to eat this to survive. So let me break off a leaf and we'll taste test it. Now this is, I, I really wouldn't call it an invasive species, but it is invasive in nature. So, here it is, and let's take a bite out of it and see what it tastes like. It's actually not bad. The leaf is kind of firm. Very mild in flavor. It's kind of hard to swallow if that's all you're eating is the leaf. Kind of want it to get stuck in your throat, sort of. But it, you have a little bit of an aftertaste that follows after you eat it. It's not real bad, but there is a slight aftertaste. And generally, this plant, you kind of want to eat it more or less when it's in its younger stage. You don't want to wait until the plant fully matured like a tree and then you start eating it. You want to eat it when it's younger. It's more tender. The leaves taste better. It has a very neutral flavor to it. It's just the texture of it is a little coarse and it kind of doesn't necessarily blend with most of your salad vegetables like lettuce which is a soft leaf plant and much more enjoyable. Some of it's getting stuck in my throat. I had to dislodge it but it's still it's it's a good plant to know about that in the event you have to eat it you can eat it. So just want to show you this plant. It's lamb's quarter. Um, is it is it bad for your garden or anything like that? No, it's not really bad. It's just a weed like any other plant, and it's just going to take up resources growing up next to your other vegetables. But it's not like bindweed or something else that's really bad. And it is edible to some degree. So you can't eat these, but I wouldn't take up garden space to grow lamb's quarter will pretty much grow anywhere though I will say if you do let lamb's quarter grow in very fertile soil it does have a much tender much better tasting uh, effect to it so you might want to spread some wood chips or fertilizer around where you see it growing in other places and you know you'll get a better tasting plant out of it it tastes better than even some vegetables I've eaten some leafy greens this almost tastes better than that so I don't know. If you see it around, give it a try. And um, it's a plant to know about in the event you ever need to uh, eat something to survive. It's definitely one of those plants. Now, it may have medicinal uses. I don't know off the top of my head. I will link you below if I do find anything on it. But it is definitely one of those plants you want to know about in the event that you have to eat something. And this is all you know to eat. So, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.